Commander, maybe you're right about the media not having everyone's best interests in mind. Wow, Reiner, that's a pretty base thing to say for once. Based? Based on what? Oh, did I say that? Well, it's like owning the libs, you know? A 2019 Polygon article reads that, quote, As with any long-running manga, the closer you get to its endgame, the easier it is to see what the message of the series really is. And the message of Attack on Titan appears to have anti-Semitic and pro-fascist leanings. Another article, this one coming from The New Republic, blasts a headline which boasts, Why Attack on Titan is the alt-right's favorite manga. White supremacists have found inspiration in the ultra-violent, ultra-popular saga. Now, the second article isn't really bad. I think it does a pretty good job of explaining why the alt-right viewpoints of Attack on Titan are wrong. But it also includes a quote uh, from Isayama himself that, quote, Ultimately, I don't think Attack on Titan passes judgment on what is right or wrong. Which is fair. I tweeted recently about this article and mentioned that Isayama created a piece of art, and therefore it isn't his job to attach meaning for those who ask, or it's not his job to spoon-feed us information about what something means. Art is meant to be interpreted by those viewing it. Of course, this doesn't detach politics from it. There are major themes that are directly connected to that, like fascism, racial and ethnic divide, war, genocide, and so on. But it's our job as viewers to interpret the meaning from this, and claiming that Isayama is some anti-Semite or fascist or red pill alt-right winger is, well, I think that's a stretch. Uh, but Japan has a history, which honestly, now that I think about it, one could draw parallels on some of the atrocities Japan committed to events and attack on Titan. Like when Armin basically nuked Liberia and everyone watching and reading is like, well, he had to do it. That's kind of like... Except they don't actually deny... Anyways, we're getting too far from the point. It's besides the point. Attack on Titan is a complex series that addresses complex themes and how they pertain to our humanity. Uh, but that doesn't stop Dunces from thinking it's some alt-right manifesto, even though this is a pretty big theme revealed uh, in this latest season and later in the manga, even with the ending of the manga. The article rightly points out that most people consider Attack on Titan a work that straightforwardly condemns the effects of fascism and racism in society. Uh, yeah, I think that's a pretty damn good interpretation. And they continue to say that Attack on Titan explores the legacy of violence, which, again, is a really good point. Uh, Attack on Titan's violence may feel meaningless at times, but it's to talk about something that we all live in the wake of. The 20th century was one of the most, if not the most, violent century in human history. No thanks to back-to-back -back world wars, the advent of the Atomic Age, Cold War, proxy wars, and so on. We live in this strange legacy of violence in which we tend to try to ignore so we can simp for a fictional character who wants to wipe out the world population. Isayama is making a point with the entirety of Eren's character, start to finish. We know that he doesn't particularly like Eren. He's the opposite of himself and the complete opposite of his idea of a perfect character. But we're dropped into the series to sympathize with Eren and hopefully stop sympathizing with him later after a certain point and instead with those caught in his wake, Mikasa, Armin, and the gang. Because Eren is the guy leading the world into more violence instead of putting an end to it. And defend Eren all you want, but he's literally the bad guy. Sure, he does it for his friends, but then again, this is what makes Attack on Titan so brilliant in its writing. It is in itself a piece of propaganda that makes you sympathize with the bad guy at first, and hopefully change your mind. In Season 4, the Marlians, who we're supposed to hate as viewers, are humanized, whereas the Eldians are suddenly the aggressors. They're painted as the bad guys. And later, on both sides, they're completely humanized as victims of a cycle of violence and hate stemmed from thousands of years of misconceptions and lies in history. Of course, with the outliers being Eren and Zeke. Viewers and readers genuinely feel guilty for feeling like they shouldn't support Eren, or they draw hard lines in the sand and fully support Eren's quest for violence. Look no further than scrolling through r slash Jaegerbomb on Reddit. These fictional characters are creating microcosms of the actual effects and legacies of violence. Isayama has created a vast ocean of morally gray areas that we've all fallen into. But the messages are clear if you read through to them, and especially if you read the manga from beginning to end. 
because of course the manga ended last year in spring, the anime is still ongoing, and it seems like a lot of the people who are on the alt-right have not read the manga, <laughs> and they haven't finished it at all, and they're either just clearly ignoring some of the facts that are brought up, or the themes that are brought up in the manga, little dialogue that's brought up in the manga, to feed this weird alt-right fantasy that Attack on Titan is some manifesto. And here's just a few examples from that from 4chan, the cesspool muck pot for these right-wingers. It's pretty crazy that they discuss that, quote, we should be doing something like this and genuinely call it propaganda. It's pretty sad that you need to, one, call it propaganda and two, lie to people to get them to think you're right. There's actually a genuine discussion thread in the comments about writing a fantasy series as a manifesto for these beliefs. It's creepy. These guys need to touch some major fucking grass. They say, why don't we have our own... Uh, Isayama. Isayama isn't the Isayama you think he is, like no one wants to be that. And sure, there are parallels drawn to the Second World War, to the Holocaust with the Eldians and Marley being forced to live in ghettos, treated as others, being legally required to wear armbands that distinguish them from the quote-unquote normal Marleyans. The coup in Eldia is supposed to be some nationalist push reminiscent of Hitler's beer hall push and later rise to power. References to Imperial Japan, Mikasa shares a name with a World War II battleship, Dot Pixis is based on General Akiyama Yoshifuru, who is responsible for atrocities committed against Koreans and Chinese during the First Sino-Japanese War and beyond. Some say that AOT is fascist propaganda and quote, commentary on how the good guys lost World War II. Isayama got even death threats for having these references and allusions. One commenter on his blog said he was going to quote, beat Hajima Isayama to death with a blunt instrument. I'm totally going to kill him. And that he would get away with it because, the quote, the Japanese police are incompetent. The writer of that Polygon article, which I opened the video with, admits that, quote, I could never get into Attack on Titan, but having read the entire manga, which means you know they're coming from an unbiased viewpoint. <laughs> right? <laughs> right? They claim these references and subtext must mean that Attack on Titan condones those ideas, which I think is incredibly far from the truth. Writing a story in which these allusions are used uh, to events and philosophies that are being referenced does not make it that thing. It may shock you, but people can write a story about things they don't believe in. They can use those ideas as a lens for criticism. And it's been done before to do just that. And why can't we see that Isayama is criticizing these alt-right views, criticizing cycles of hatred and war? because genuinely that's what I think this is. Knowing how the manga ends, I really hope the anime doesn't change it. I was a huge fan of the ending because it highlighted these points. It was subtle, deep, complex, and thematically fitting as an end to Attack on Titan. And I'm sorry it wasn't fan service, and it made us have to think about what we just experienced. It made us have to think about the ideas that are being brought up. But it makes us think about things that are unsavory but at the end of the day everyone has their opinions it's just something that can't really be shaken that that's their interpretation of the story and like i said art is meant to be interpreted by the viewers we can't be spoon-fed uh, these answers by the creator and one of the articles talks about well isayama's silence on this has not helped which i don't think is a fair criticism to make He's done with it. He finished, it's, he told a good story, and that's it. He doesn't have a responsibility to tell us what's right and what's wrong. That's, a, that's in our hands. We have to make those interpretations, make connections, and what have you. So, is Attack on Titan red-pilled? Without spoiling much, I can confidently say that I believe it is not. In fact, I think it's a criticism of those ideas that people attribute it to being red-pilled or alt-right for. I understand this is a divisive topic, but I'd still like to know your opinions down below in the comments. Just please be respectful to one another, because it's just, it's just a pain when everyone's an asshole. It's not like it really matters if someone supports Eren or 
Well, it matters if they're uh, a white supremacist or if they're alt-right and have these, you know, quack ideas, but it doesn't matter if they're just casual anime watchers who happen to like Eren. Uh, so you don't need to call them Nazis or something in the comments. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Um, I hope this video was at least somewhat enjoyable, somewhat enlightening, and just kind of got you thinking about the ideas in Attack on Titan. And I know I certainly still enjoy the series. I don't think it is a bad series at all for making allusions to this. Um, so, hope that doesn't change anything for you either. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, like and subscribe. It really helps me out as a small channel. And I look forward to making more content. Uh, Attack on Titan content. Just anime and general content. And manga content. Thanks guys. Have a good one.